The up quark or U quark symbol, U, is the lightest of all quarks, a type of elementary particle, and a major constituent of matter. It, along with the down quark, forms the neutrons one up quark, two down quarks, and protons two up quarks, one down quark of atomic nuclei. It is part of the first generation of matter, has an electric charge of plus two-thirds E and a bare mass of 2.3 plus 0.7 minus 0.5 MeV, C2. Like all quarks, the up quark is an elementary fermion with spin one half, and experiences all four fundamental interactions gravitation, electromagnetism, weak interactions, and strong interactions. The antiparticle of the up quark is the up antiquark, sometimes called anti up quark or simply anti up, which differs from it only in that some of its properties, such as charge, have equal magnitude but opposite sign. Its existence along with that of the down and strange quarks was postulated in 1964 by Murray Gell-Mann and George Zweig to explain the eightfold way classification scheme of hadrons. The up quark was first observed by experiments at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center in 1968. Topic: History In the beginnings of particle physics first half of the 20th century, hadrons such as protons, neutrons and pions were thought to be elementary particles. However, as new hadrons were discovered, the particle zoo grew from a few particles in the early 1930s and 1940s to several dozens of them in the 1950s. The relationships between each of them were unclear until 1961, when Murray Gell-Mann and Yuval Naaman independently of each other proposed a hadron classification scheme called the Eightfold Way, or in more technical terms, SU flavor symmetry. This classification scheme organized the hadrons into isospin multiplets, but the physical basis behind it was still unclear. In 1964, Gell-Mann and George Zweig independently of each other proposed the quark model, then consisting only of up, down, and strange quarks. However, while the quark model explained the Eightfold Way, no direct evidence of the existence of quarks was found until 1968 at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. Deep inelastic scattering experiments indicated that protons had substructure, and that protons made of three more fundamental particles explained the data, thus confirming the quark model. At first, people were reluctant to describe the three bodies as quarks, instead, preferring Richard Feynman's Parton description, but over time the quark theory became accepted. See November Revolution. <laughs> Mass Despite being extremely common, the bare mass of the up quark is not well determined, but probably lies between 1.8 and 3.0 MeV, C2. Lattice QCD calculations give a more precise value, 2.01 plus or minus 0.14 MeV, C2, when found in mesons, particles made of one quark and one antiquark, or baryons, particles made of three quarks. The effective mass or dressed mass of quarks becomes greater because of the binding energy caused by the gluon field between each quark. See mass energy equivalence. The bare mass of up quarks is so light, it cannot be straightforwardly calculated because relativistic effects have to be taken into account. Due to strong force mediated by gluons in the gluon field, the quarks move at roughly 99.995% of the speed of light, leading to Lorentz factor of roughly 100. As a result, the combined rest mass of quarks is barely 1% of proton or neutron mass. See also Down quark Isospin Quark model Quantum mechanics <laughs>